Welcome to the ABC of the Animal Kingdom. Have you ever wondered what kind of creatures live underwater? How many of these animals have not even been discovered yet? Mythical beings such as dragons. Are they just myths? Or could it be that they are based on real animals, only fantasy has distorted them a bit? Join us in today's journey to meet the Leafy Sea Dragon. The Leafy or Glowart Sea Dragon, Phycodurus Ikes, is the only member of the genus Phycodurus. It is a marine fish in the family Cygnathidae, including sea dragons, pipefish, and seahorses. Leafy sea dragons can be found on the southern and western coasts of Australia. In a strip about 14,000 kilometers, 8,700 miles long and about 1 kilometer, 0.62 miles wide. From Wilson's Promontory in Victoria at the eastern end of its range, westward to Jurian Bay, 220 kilometers, 140 miles north of Perth in Western Australia. They are mostly found over sand patches in waters up to 50 meters, 160 feet deep around kelp-covered rocks and clumps of seagrass. The leafy sea dragon's name is derived, not only from its resemblance to the mythical dragons, but also due to its long leaf-shaped extensions. These extensions come out from its entire body with colors between yellowish and brown, which give it the appearance of a vegetable that wanders adrift. These are not to propel themselves but for camouflage. Depending on the sea dragon's diet, age, location, and stress level, they can also change color to blend in, avoiding predators. Although it seems that they let themselves go with the tide, the leafy sea dragon propels itself through a pectoral fin on the ridge of its neck and a dorsal fin on its back closer to the tail end. These small fins are transparent and almost invisible while undulating minutely through the water. Completing this way, the illusion of floating seaweed. It differs from the seahorse in appearance, the form of locomotion, and its inability to coil or grasp things with its tail. Leafy sea dragons are also slightly larger, growing between 20 and 24 centimeters, 8 and 9.5 inches. Females of this species are smaller than males. Unlike the crescent-shaped gill openings and ridged gills of most fish species, leafy sea dragons have circular gill openings covering tufted gills. There are two related species to the Phycodurus ikes. The weedy sea dragon. It is a multicolored sea dragon that grows weed-like fins. Smaller than the leafy sea dragon and the ruby sea dragon, Philopteryx duasi, named after its color. It is believed to be red because it inhabits deeper waters, where red hues are absorbed more efficiently, and being red-colored can help camouflage. Leafy sea dragons feed by sucking up plankton, larval fish small, and crustaceans such as amphipods and missid shrimp through its long, pipe-like snout which has no teeth. In their natural environment, they are surrounded by predators. However, they are so good at camouflage that they remain unnoticed, even when their predator is right in front of them. Newborns are not that lucky. They do not have the camouflage characteristic on their bodies yet. They need several days for it to begin to emerge. That is why they are often predated, and sometimes several are consumed at once.
Leafies were once thought to have very restricted ranges, but further research has discovered that sea dragons actually travel several hundred meters from their habitual locations, returning to the same spot using a strong sense of direction. Individual leafy sea dragons have been observed remaining in one location for up to 68 hours, but will sometimes move for lengthy periods. The tracking of one individual indicated it moved at up to 150 meters, 490 feet, per hour. Leafy sea dragons usually live a solitary lifestyle. When the time comes, males court females and pair up to breed. Females produce up to 250 bright pink eggs, then deposit them onto the male's tail with her ovipositor. As with seahorses, male leafy sea dragon cares for the eggs. Depending on water conditions, around nine weeks later, eggs begin to hatch. These turn a ripe purple or orange over this period, after which the male pumps his tail until young emerge. The male aids the hatching of the eggs by shaking its tail and rubbing it against seaweed and rocks. This process can last up to 48 hours. Once born, the young sea dragon is completely independent, eating small zooplankton until large enough to hunt missids. Only about 5% of the eggs survive. By the age of two, they are typically full-grown and ready to breed. The biggest threats they face are pollution and captivity for the aquarium trade. In response to these dangers, they have been protected by listing the species in the Australian government's Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999. It guarantees that the welfare of the species is taken into consideration in any developmental project. If you love dogs and cats as much as we do, stay tuned on Sundays. We will also post new videos about wild animals and insects every Thursday. Do not forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell, so you do not miss any of our incredible videos.